Hi everyone, the video you're about to watch was shot a couple weeks ago. My health uh, has since declined further. This is not an easy video to watch, nor was it an easy video to make. I appreciate you taking the time to uh, listen to it and share it and contribute however you can. I love you all so much and thank you for your continued support. So cystic fibrosis is a chronic uh, lung condition that also affects your digestive system. You're uh, born with it, it's genetic, and I was diagnosed at four months old. I lived a pretty normal childhood. I didn't really get sick until my teenage years. Uh, you know, I had hospitalizations as a child, but uh, the really serious effects of cystic fibrosis started to become present as a teenager. Um, and after going to college, and grad school, it became very apparent that I was going to need um, a double lung transplant. Um, I didn't realize how quickly I would need it. You know, my hope was always that I could make it to my uh, late 20s or early 30s, but that just wasn't possible. Uh, my health deteriorated very quickly, and I was able to list for my first double lung transplant at UCLA Medical Center um, in 2014 and had my first transplant in March 2015. Um, chronic rejection is something that transplant patients have to face um, in various situations. Um, for the second time in my life, um, after my second double lung transplant, I am in chronic rejection and um, I have known since November of 2018. Um, my donor family and uh, my immediate family and some of my very close friends have known but I have not wanted to talk about it because it's been very, very difficult for all of us to comprehend and fathom that this is happening. For the first rejection, I believe myself and the rest of the family had, and Travis himself had, hopes that, okay, if this is rejection, we'll go through this again, and then he'll find his forever lungs, and we're not going to have to worry about it anymore. What's made this time so much harder to process is What's made this time much harder is the fact that we're, we're entering into more unknown territory where other people have not had a third transplant. It's very important to us to keep Travis alive, to keep him in our world. He has a lot to contribute and has contributed in the past. So we just want to ask for everybody's help. We really appreciate all, any of your help. I don't like asking for help because I like to help. Um, but I need help again. Um, I have a lot that I want to do in my life, a lot of things that I want to see, a lot of places that I want to go, and a lot of people I want to help. And I can't do that if I don't have a chance to survive. So thank you for watching this video, thank you for being a part of my journey. If you're new to my story, I invite you to 
ask questions to learn more. Um, a simple share of this video can help someone, I hope. Um, but for now, I, I just want to survive.